Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Dave Blinks here bringing you guys another part of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. So I looked up the move list, and so it's down, up, for uh, Jamie's special grab move, it is up, up, Y for Jamie's special grind move, and it is left, down for Jamie's special uh, flip trick move. Okay, uh, so when am I going to focus on getting this run? Um, so let's go with the score and let's try to get the tape. Let's try with that. Okay, I failed. I failed. That's okay. That's fine. Well, it's not really, but let's just continue. That was the first mistake I didn't get. The letter S. Probably should have. Okay, I'll try it again. We're going for a skate, the tape, and the score. Okay, we got the hidden tape. Now we have to go back. Okay, we got this score. High score. Okay, we got A. Let's keep going. Um. T, we got it. Oh yeah, I don't have special. That's probably why. The movies uh, weren't working. Boom! Got the pro score too. So all we need to get is just them all. Uh, Directories, I think they're called. Boom. Yeah, people have been asking uh, about SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bob. I remember telling you guys uh, earlier about what happened. Um, and then I think you guys might have forgot, but I forgot. Uh, so what happened is uh, I got the PlayStation 2 that I original I originally was doing the Let's Play on that. We got it from eBay, and this is back when I was like a really little kid. And the problem with the thing was most of the games we got didn't work. Um, the controller we got barely worked. But the time we had the PS1, so we used the PS1 con controllers, and then. Also, this is the slim model of the PS1. So, and then the thing you plugged into the back of the console to give it, you know, the power. The pin is already bent, so you physically have to um, bend the cord with it. And this, I already know it's going to be only so long before that pin is just completely gone and it's not going to work anymore. Then the uh, memory card we got, uh, that thing failed on us, and that's where we're storing my game. So, I basically had to buy a new memory card. But because I already redo the series before that, I was just like, you know, I'm tired of the game. So that's why I started a bunch of square pants, super sponge instead. Um, I do have a working memory card. I recently got a fat model of the PlayStation 2 with like six controllers and a couple games for like ten dollars. I tested out the fat model. It does work. I could, um, if I wanted to, is I I could start the series up again. But I'm thinking I'm going to wait until after I finish uh, Kung Fu Panda first and get that one done. And I'm thinking of maybe buying the Xbox version of it because that's the one I usually played. And I've just been having so much problems with PS2 lately that I'm just kind of getting sick of it. So I'm thinking of waiting until I get the Xbox version and I'll start it up again. But until then, I think um, I might... You know, get some other SpongeBob games. I actually bought SpongeBob SquarePants uh, the movie, and it came complete with the manual. I looked at the disc; the disc looks like perfect. And then when I put it in the in the PlayStation PS2, it just didn't work. I was like, "Oh man, that sucks!" So I bought a broken game essentially. Um. So yeah.
So after I get done with Gunfrey Panda, uh, I might, I might redo. I want to redo for sure on my channel. Uh, so I'll scrap into Battle for Bikini Bottom, but I'll probably be looking for the Xbox version of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, and then uh, let me think. Uh, I think SpongeBob SquarePants the movie that came out on, on Xbox, right? I'll probably look for that. I'm gonna see if the, if any of if both those games came out for Xbox and if uh, some other games like I think it's called like Crazy Creatures. I'm, I'm not for sure that came out on Xbox as well. I know it came out on, on GameCube, and then I'm gonna see. Basically, uh, are they? Uh, Xbox is actually backwards compatible, just to make my life easier. So I already know where the little the letter E is. Uh, I didn't get the freaking tape. Of course I didn't. Come on, fuck it sucks. Uh, no, that did not work. Wow, what did I even get? Did I only get freaking one? Damn. Well, that fucking sucked. I didn't even get those signs? Wow. You gotta be kidding me. I probably only got four. I probably missed one. I was too busy talking about special scrapers about for bikini bottom. But I got some other I know you guys really like the uh SpongeBob games. Also, I have some more uh, Minecraft videos uh, recorded with uh, Gigaboom. Uh, I'm, I got about two, maybe three videos worth. It's maybe it's a survival series, and then I also recorded some on my own, uh, doing on the Windows 10 version, uh, playing some uh, mini games as well, dude. What what one did I miss then? Holy fuck! Come on now. See, I've been uh, actually been recently just trying out my Xbox games. Um, with the 360. The 360 I got from a uh, disc trader, so it's a Halo 4 edition. I actually bought Halo 4 too. I got quite a bit of Halo games. I think I'm maybe doing some co-op. Uh, a co-op let's play, and it's gonna be with Toxic Minds. I uh, mean, him talked about it, considering the fact he'll be coming over to my uh, house a lot more because me and his parents are dating again. about one try I think to get the freaking secret tape but I got to cut it ah nope didn't have enough okay just need to get the score and secret tape yeah but I got a bunch of videos actually do recorded I usually have a bunch of videos in the bank recorded because I know oh there's gonna be a time when like I can't record at all so then I always have those ready to go in case I need them probably gonna save those because like I said I'll be out of a week from school so I might as well just record new series and upload those and save on to those um, <sighs> Most of them are like me and Doom are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and stuff like that. Which I already recorded. Boom, got my special move going. Yeah, right there, 540 foot. Yeah, one of the things I 
I learned is that some of the uh, Xbox games, if they have HD TV on them and they're backwards compatible, you can plug in your HDMI and it'll be a full screen. Uh, if it's not HD TV and but it's backwards compatible, you have to grab your AV cords and then it'll be still 40p, but it'll be a full screen, which is still better than just doing it on the uh, Xbox without the little adapter I got because if because what happens is um it is still um what's it called four by three or whatever when I record it with my uh, Elgato you know um I think it's forty thousand for the score I believe oh fuck me don't want to fail um let's go ahead and do this do that get that fuck 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. go up and grind damn it I believe it's 40,000 so I'm going to probably cut until I uh, get close to there Or maybe just fast forward it. Either one works. Should probably learn uh, a little bit more of the moves, the basic ones at least. Fuck. Got the retry. Doing good. How the fuck am I failing, dude? Oh, you know what? I should probably go to the skate shop and get my uh, new gear. You know, that might actually help out. There we go. All right, we're going to be doing a uh, Burnside Portland. All right. So yeah, I went to the equipment and then uh So when you it says unlock equipment, I wonder if it automatically like ups your stats or you actually physically have to go there. Is it up there? Or is it uh down up? Yeah, it's down up. <clears throat> Boom. Doing really, really well. Boom. Ninety four. Okay, it's ninety three, but doing better than all these chumps 
Better watch out. Jamie's coming. <laughs> All right, well, Jamie probably had a concussion now. Oh, yeah, one tip is um, a street skater does more, like, you know, street moves, like kick flips on that, and then a vert skater. They'd be doing, like, Failure, heel flip grabs and stuff. So if you want a character who does moves a little bit quicker, pick a street skater. I think when I was looking at the move list, it seems like Tony Hawk has the most uh, special moves. I think everyone gets like four. And then Tony Hawk, no, no, no. Everyone gets like three and Tony Hawk had four. Oh yeah, season eight came out for Fortnite. I was originally going to do all the challenges and, you know, get a free uh, Fortnite Battle Pass. Uh, just did not work out. The person, because some of those uh, <clears throat> challenges, you needed someone to uh, physically be with you, like a friend or something, and be like, you and a friend do, like, duos and get this top rank and then do squats and whatever. And basically, the person I was doing it with said, hey, I'm going to take an hour break and then never come back on. And then I was like, you know what? I won't have time now to do the Fortnite uh, challenges. I only had that day to get all of them done. Because after that, I'll have school, college, and then I'd have my uh, job. I was like, yeah, this this is the only day I can do it. But I'm not that butthead about it. I'm not really into Fortnite that much. Um, I don't buy, I haven't bought any skins or nothing from that. I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy that at all. The only game I ever bought cosmetic items from would have been Black Ops 2 and then... You know, I, I, that's the only one I ever did. I don't. That's when I was much younger. But, you know, it's just like, I really don't care. I don't play that much. So. I think that'll be it. Is that it? Yeah, it is, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys next time.